20. Oh. Okay. We love that. Okay, so I do want to get into a little bit. You recently uh, went viral for a little bit of a controversial statement that you uh, made. Oh, controversial according to TV One, but I'm a comedian, but let's go, let's get well, into it. Well, listen, I hear that there is um, kind of an unwritten rule about comedians that you do not attack other comedians. That is not an unwritten rule. The unwritten rule was Luther Vandross was gay, but nobody talked about it. That was okay, the unwritten rule. Um, the, uh, the unwritten rule in stand-up comedy is that <laughs> if there's some meat on the bone, get all the meat off the bone. Well, okay, so let's talk about that. But also just to bring it up, uh, it was a controversial video because you were talking about a fellow comedian, uh, Steve Harvey, and you mentioned yes. his wife and yes. some exes in yes. there. It was a thing. What do you have to say about that? Do you want to clarify anything? Uh, on behalf of TV One, I would like to say that uh, I was talking about uh, very many things in that interview. That interview was 30 minutes long. And after a while, you just start talking. Now it's like not even an interview. I'm just talking to my homie. Mm -hmm. So she threw something out about the dating show. So she said, Steve Harvey wrote a dating book. Maybe I'll write a dating book one day. That's how it came about. That's how we got from my dating, dating show to Steve Harvey's book, to Steve Harvey, period. Uh, I was not coerced into talking about him. She said, you're hosting a dating show. Maybe one day you write a dating book. And that's how the two came together. Mm, okay? okay. So it was not a attempt to go at Steve Harvey or anything like that. I wasn't even talking about him. She brought it up. But I said, I don't see how, this is what I, let me just get to the bottom, okay. bottom line. Okay. If Donald Trump wanted to meet with somebody in the black community to show black people that he was endearing himself to us or ingratiating himself to us, why don't you meet with the people of Flint, Michigan, because the water's still not clean? Mm -hmm. Why don't you meet with the people that started the Black Lives Matter movement because black people are still dying at an alarming rate? Why don't you meet with the people of Chicago who are living in a war zone to ingratiate yourself to black people. I didn't see where meeting with Steve Harvey was going to make us go, bet, we, we in there now. Now we got one. I didn't see where that was beneficial mm -hmm. to us as a people. Yes. So I spoke on that. Mm -hmm. As far as the dating aspect of it, you should never talk about a man and his girlfriend or his wife or whatever. However they came together, that's sacred. But I'm a comic and I speak with no filter. And I will continue to speak with no filter because I'm a comic. On behalf of TV One, they want to issue an apology. I don't apologize for anything I say. I say it, it's done, I try to let it go. I have not spoken on it since, but they want me to keep talking about it, so I'll keep talking about it. It's done as far as I'm concerned. I have a tremendous amount of respect for Steve Harvey for everything he did as far as a black man and everything he's done as a stand-up comic. Kings of Comedy, one of my favorite comedy specials of all time. When he did the joke about old school versus the new school and rappers today have 10 dudes on stage with a mic, hilarious. And still true. Hilarious. But you want an apology, and that's as close as it's going to get to one. Well, I think we'll just have to be okay with that. You did say Are that. Are you okay with that? I mean, yes. I mean, as a man, you clarified, and you, you know, you spoke to You shouldn't to, speak you yet. Shouldn't have and I have, that, listen, so. listen, I have dated several women <laughs> that, no. I, that, I should, that I should not have no dated. No way. That you I are should, totally that I, that not That I should not have dated. And people have come to me and said things, and they're like, hey, man, my brothers have come to me. Like, what are you doing? But when you in it, you in it, and just, you know. It is what it is, but you shouldn't speak yeah. on, you know. Am I single? No, Shanika, my girlfriend's sitting right there. Shanika, <laughs> uh, that. and she is sitting over she's there. She's sitting right there. Yeah, I would love to be a fly on the wall when your brothers come in, especially Chris Rock, who is just, he's just loud, he's out there. He is just as unfiltered as you. Like, what this kind of dating advice do you get from Chris Rock? Uh, stay away from white girls. <laughs> <laughs> we love it. Sorry, now I gotta issue an apology to white people. Sorry, oh, white people. Hey, listen, Sorry. You <laughs> Sorry, white people. We love you. We love your honesty. We appreciate it. And we appreciate you stopping by to get deliver that message with us on the Buzz Live on Hello Beautiful. I didn't stop by. Y'all made me come in and do this. Why? Look, come on now. Hold on. Funky, Where, where's the script? There's he eight is people not... behind that camera watching me right now. <laughs> He's not and you will never see script. another episode of the Game of Dating if I don't say this correctly. So, well, I think you got Game that. of Dating, Tuesday nights, 8 p.m. TV 1. I, I think you got the that. Best Right game show reality show ever, best ever created. plug right there. Thank you guys. Keep it going. Shout in out the to Brooklyn. Section. <laughs> Brooklyn. Staten Island. That's where I'm from. Brooklyn. All right. <laughs> we'll see you guys later. Bye bye. Check it out. Tuesdays, 8, TV1. If you could pick an all star celebrity watcher group of, I would pick Richard Pryor, Bernie Mac, and. And Richard Pryor, Bernie Mac, and 